Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to replace a keyboard uh, on a HP uh, Compaq 9, uh, uh, that's that's Elite Book 9, excuse me, 8770W uh, laptop. That's uh, the laptop, it's a huge laptop, a 17 inch laptop. And it's a very, very powerful laptop. It's one of the best that uh, HP makes. Uh, so that's why it's worth fixing. Otherwise, you know, if a keyboard goes bad on a laptop, you kind of think twice if it's really worth your time and effort and the price to replace. But in this case, you're looking at a $1,500, $2,000 laptop, which is worth replacing the keyboard. Um, this is a, a Core i7 with SSD, dual SSD hard drive. So you could do the math, see how a powerful laptop it is. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure we disconnect the battery. So let's look at the battery. Here is the battery compartment. So what you do is you press this into unlock mode and press this this way and you have your battery released. Just like that. The battery has been released. All right. Okay, so now we take set the battery aside we set it aside and let's get the camera from a different angle. Okay, now we are going to remove this panel right here uh, in order to uh, have access to the screws that will release the old keyboard. Okay, so let's remove this panel and here's how we remove it. Right here Remember we pulled this one out to release the battery and I said to pull this one also out. This is the one that releases this whole panel. Let's watch. Like that. And the whole panel comes off. I'm going to show this again from a top view camera. Because this is very hard to see. Again, you push this this way. And this whole panel comes off. Okay. Now, what we have to do is we need to know which keyboard, which screws to open to get to the keyboard. Now, if you notice right here, they have already marked uh, the keyboard, but and right here they mark the keyboard. But even if there wasn't a marking on the keyboard, it's very simple. You take your keyboard that you're about to replace and put it in the same position where it goes like this you know make sure it's up upright uh, actually okay so that would be the space bar would be here so this is how it should be going right like like this right here so now you see all these studs there's one stud two stud three studs so basically all you have to do is see where each studs are and that's where the screws are that you need to take apart or open simple as that so, so here we have a stud which we need to open. That's one. Notice this represents that one. So the next one has to be here. There is the second key uh, screw for the keyboard. Okay. So we have this one. We have this one. Both of these, this represents that, this represents this. And now we have the third one, which is this one. And that's all it is. There are only three screws that are holding the keyboard together. Okay. Now what I need to do, I'm going to do is make this in the right position and open it. And the keyboard should be easily left up. And if not, you could push on those screws. There you go. There was a little sticky thingies here. That's what was holding the keyboard. And now what we need to do is release the cables. We have two cables to release. The track point cable. This is the track point. And then we, this is a touchpad. This is a track point. So this keyboard, I mean this uh, laptop 
it has both. Usually they have one or the other. Okay, notice I disengaged this and I disengaged this. Both have been disengaged. Now we need to put the new keyboard back in. Now some of these keyboards they have illumination, they have LEDs, they light up uh, at night, but this particular keyboard doesn't light up. Uh, so when you're buying a replacement, make sure you buy the correct replacement depending on what kind of keyboard you have and if yours lights, lights up then you have to buy the right one otherwise uh, your keyboard will not light up anymore okay so here we have sticky which I'm sure is handy to have See, the longer the cable it is, uh, this is much longer than the original one, the longer it is, it's much easier it is to install. It's much, much more convenient. You have more room to, to play with, to work with. Okay. So now I'm going to put this. I'm probably going to need the second camera. Okay, so this is the tab I left. You left the tab and then you put the cable. Let me lift the tab again. The tab is, it easily goes back down. So I left it, fold it like sideways, slightly, not with too much pressure. And then I put this cable in there. Finally, we did it. Cable is in there, tight and secure. So notice, I had to put the cable, after I put the cable, I had to put the tab back down from both sides like parallel push. Now I'm going to reorganize these cords so I make sure they don't get pinched when I'm closing it. Okay. Notice the tabs go and first underneath, let me get the other keyboard show it to you. See these tabs right here? So these tabs go in first and the top will snap in. Okay. Okay. So that puppy looks nice. Now I'm going to close this um, screen. and go back to the top view close the screen go back to the top view let's zoom out and here we go the same screws we just closed Okay, so just three screws were holding the keyboard. No more than three screws. Now we will put back the cover. This cover, we will put back this cover, which goes in like this. And slides in. Oh, this has to be this way. There you go. I'll remove and put it back in with the other angle of camera. So this is the thing we need to put back in. Slides in this way. Hold it down and slide. And then lock this so it doesn't come off. And then you can put back your battery. And bingo.
you have your keyboard replaced and now I've obviously I need to test it to make sure it works and whatnot it's very important to test the keyboard after you install it to just to make sure that it's functioning the way it should you know okay so I have my touch point working I have my track point working yeah, both of these are good so now I'm going to open like a something whatever like a sticky note or something you know these good old sticky notes and just type something to make sure it works so yeah it does work so let's do everything alphabetical A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R R S T U V W X Y Z 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 0 and these numbers work too I'm good to go so I replaced a keyboard and everything seems to be working fine the keyboard is all flush is not sticking up all the sides look good and it basically took uh, I don't know no more than uh, 10 minutes maybe if that so it was a pretty quick replacement not all keyboard not all laptops are easy to replace the keyboard with uh, on to replace the keyboard on them for example there are some laptops that you have to completely disassemble the laptop to get to the screws where you have to open the keyboard and there are some laptops that the keyboard you know snaps in and out as simple as this and there are some laptops that you don't even have to open it there are a couple of notches here that you slide and it will snap open the keyboard all right thank you very much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe